Hey, it's Tupac, and I'm back in Dysfunctional Systems. So, sorry about no video on Wednesday. Um, I had something come up. Don't remember what. What happened on Wednesday? Oh well. But, point is, Wednesdays I can normally record. I just couldn't this specific one. But that's going to alter my schedule quite a bit, and I'll go more into depth on that in a uh, update video. Probably will come out today as well, or tomorrow, I don't know. But uh, yeah, dysfunctional systems. I get out of my seat and immediately yank at the table's edge as the floor shifts. Oh no. My knees quiver with fear, and I firmly plant my feet, my heart thumping like I'm about to die. Gracious, what was that? Did something happen? Have we failed? Ha! <sighs> calm down. You're just a bit tipsy. Tipsy. Shut up. I pause. Tipsy. Oh. Bust. Right, I'm just... Ugh, oh, crap. Just get over there. I'll surprise myself briskly taking strides to the counter. I found the act curiously challenging and amusing, each step I consider rather silly in its shakiness, and I begin wondering about how people learn to walk at all. It's not how my thoughts usually go, I think. I can't quite remember what I usually think about right now. I'm not drunk. I have an idea of what that is from looking, and this is not it. Ah, right, I am tipsy. Goodness, I'm unbalanced. I start slowing near the stools, and suddenly break out in a cold sweat. I'm not good with people, so what am I going to do about to talk- What am I doing about to talk to a man? While I'm considering this, the order to stop is not pr processed physically. I sit right down- I sit right down next to the gentleman as if it's the most natural thing in the world, and we're the oldest of pals, a strong tie, as bonds formed from ten years of manual labor at, pier at the piers. I wonder how much alcohol I actually drank. Enough of this. Engage the man by his eyes. Yes, like that. Like in the books. Hmm. Lean forward and get a closer look, Winter Harrison. Oh, well, isn't he scruffy? Almost in an adorable way. His cheeks and the chin are dashed all over with stubble, and his eyes are soft and caring. He vaguely reminds me of a father I knew that was not mine, but a classmate's. I open my mouth and mentally say hello, but the order is again not actually processed, so I just hang my jaw and stare. He notices. Hello there, miss. Uh, hello. It is all I can do to say this. I fail to keep his attention and his eyes return to the television above the bar. Television. That's right, they have that here. It seems to be a sports channel that he's watching, not that I know which. I only know it is a sport as there is a ball. There are people and both are on a field. Oh. Okay, so if I hold down space it skips. More. Okay. Wait, I'm overthinking. Can I go back? What is Codex? I have new. Oh. Brighton. Oh, Brighton is a minor society on Sewell with a Strong historical and present connections to both Gabria and Ferdia. A site of several rich mineral deposits, it was briefly, previously a Gabrian colony, but gained independence 120 Sul years ago. It also shares a large portion of its border with Fed, Fer, Ferdia. And a truce has been signed between Gabria and Ferdia concerning the territory. Brighton was still a colony at the time. Although Brighton shares in the technological advancement of its mother country, it does not share in prosperity, and is economically weak by comparison. The Brighton people are a hard-working and closely-knit group, and tend to describe themselves as meta m metaphorically as ants. The society has not yet been visited, and now it has. No image, though. Sewell? Oh, it's a planet, okay. Uh, active planet, major societies nine, sci development, scientific, low level, 
Rapid advancement, physics rigid. Plane shared with that. Isolated, yes. This is 45. Personal security note, many species of fish on Sewell are poisonous to earthen. Avoid seafood to be safe. Okay. Okay, system Sewell is one of four planetary... Oh, wait, how long is this? Uh. Okay, well... Sewell is one of the four planetary civilizations, uh, unaware of its distant neighbors. Um, arid and mountainous, patches of fertile land. Oceans have a variety of sea life, but they're poison to Earth and people. So Sewell, what are they called? Like Sulians, Sulunians. Uh, harsh conditions, increased technical technological advancement. Oh, main three places. Gabria is the most economically powerful. Ferdia is military. Rosar, Rosare, Rosar. I don't know. Diabolical. Reputation of cruelty and a bizarre act of violence. Okay. But least problematic. And its involvement in issues can dramatically lower the levels of chaos. Okay. It has not often required mediation and is considered quite stable. Okay. Oh well. Uh, oh, log. Uh... And it seems to involve only sculpted men, a particularly intimate intimate sport. Wait, I'm overthinking it. Though I do believe most sports have a peculiar and exciting kind of subtext, this one I think I could particularly like to watch. You're a little young to be in here, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm four. I am fourteen. I should not be here. Whoa. Okay. I totally thought she was like 18 or 19 and they're like she's really underage for drinking what is Cyrus I've lost a lot of respect for you I'm here with my da uncle <laughs> my dad would never bring me here my da my uncle my uncle is here and brought me here while he's on break. Right, mention work. Where is he? Pontus Iris, who's now talking amiably with the other man in the corner. Goodness, such mass friends. He is the younger, ornery looking person. The old man chuckles. Old man? What? And I smile as though I've made a joke. Interesting word choice, girl. I read books. That's so. It is so. Very much so. I read a lot. Hmm. Is he celebrating the good news? And yeah, maybe? Was there some news? Ah. Do you mean the minimum wage increase, sir? Yes. Great news, isn't it? He grins. I mirror him. It is. I'm, gl I'm glad. You working yet? This, um, yes, is, is what I'm doing. Granted, I'm paid. I'm learning. Yes, I just started a little while ago. I see. Well, welcome to the workforce, young miss. Have you gotten your first paycheck yet? No, not yet. And my name is Winter. And that should have been two sentences. Nice to meet you, Winter. I'm David. Stop speaking. I don't know why. It's almost as though I... Anything I say won't make any sense, so I've shut up. He does not speak either. Quietness is getting to me. Is there something I can say? Anything? What can I say? No, I'm lost. This is a terrible feeling, like I'm drowning in air. Think. Think. There must be something. What? You okay? Huh? Oh no, I'm panicking. He could tell. That's bad. Is it because of the alcohol? It must be the alcohol. I am, um, yeah. Speak. So, do what do you do? 
like for work, I mean. Uh, you know, help out at the wharf, head down to, into the mines, fit auto parts. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, amazing, no, no. When you get older, you'll have to run multiple jobs, too. Just about the only way to survive these days. How about you? What do you do? Oh, crap. What do I do? Oh, why didn't I think of something first? Stupid, stupid, stupid. I shut my eyes for a second and give a quick shake of my head. Um, uh, what do I do? Well, I guess I could technically be considered a... I'm a consoler. A counselor? Y yes. Huh. Please let that be an acceptable job. It doesn't really seem like something that suit you. No offense or anything. I didn't really choose it. He gives me a somber nod of recognition. Yeah, you gotta take what you're given. Yes. I suddenly feel miserable and decide to lean onto the counter. I rest my head, letting the fluff of my hair and sleeves serve as a pillow, and look away from David. That's right. I didn't really choose it. I didn't really choose anything. As decisions came around, I just sat on my hands thinking, I don't know, thinking that something would come to me. In a sense, I suppose that something did, but it wasn't in the usual way. Everyone else knew what they wanted to do after secondary school, and I was stuck on the path of a freeder. A freeder. A step away from a leech. Ugh. Couldn't pick a I couldn't pick a specialty school. I didn't know what I wanted. School media mediatorum. Torum. Huh. What is this school? Why had I, why had I never heard of it? Yet somehow my parents weren't surprised by the name. Why was I chosen? What's more, how? I never applied to this thing. Why did I even accept to go? I guess I was just happy that something had been found for me. And the system always knows best. I mean, it's not as though I dislike it. I found the classwork and homework more than bearable. And the first sha and my first shadowing went okay enough. But is this what I am? Is this what I'm meant to do? Oh, this is stupid. What am I thinking? The oligarchy is infallible. Infallible. They never make mistakes. Therefore, this must be what's right for me. Even if everything about it is totally weird. Kakol, what's my issue? This is better than what would have happened. When did I start caring so much about my direction? Wait, what am I thinking? I'm supposed to care about that. Still, why should I? How should I know the way to forge my life's past when I'm just 14? My life's path when I'm just 14. I don't even know what I'll be like in eight years. I, should have, I shouldn't have to care about this now. No, this is really messed up. I'm so messed up. Hey, hey, don't get like that. I'm sorry I brought it up. Can I get you something to drink? I turned back to glance at David, my, with my nose tip brushing against cloth and sending a tinkle across my face. Seeing him, I remember again. I'm in another world. As if I didn't have any wor enough worries back home, now I have a whole new world to worry about here. Another world which I had never heard of, but I'm supposed to believe is real, just because things are here right in front of my eyes. So much strange stuff has happened to me that maybe I could just be dreaming. Is this man even real? Is he really there? Maybe he isn't. I've read that there are illusions. Dang it, I held space again. But I prefer... Would I prefer an illusion? Would I prefer this to be a dream? Maybe some sort of virtual reality? Speaking of virtual reality, I'm really looking forward to the Oculus Rift. And... I don't know if you've seen the Omni? Like that omnidirectional trackpad thing? Treadmill thing? That you walk on? I don't know. I'm buying that when it comes out. Well... I Actually, I think it is out. Or, like, you can buy it now and it'll s you'll ship it. But I want to wait for the Oculus Rift first. But anyways, that's off topic. This whole idea is so ridiculous. What's worst of all, I find myself rather on the fence about this.
I thought someone just knocked on my door. Sorry. I found myself rather on the fence about his offer for a second drink. It would not be bad, actually, to forget of who I am for a little while. Perhaps longer. It would be natural. No, it, it would also be dangerous. I forced the darker notions aside, steady the course. I drive my head back into the nest of my arms, hair curling over fingers. Bring myself up, countenance solemn. No, I think I've had enough. Suit yourself. I will. I look at David. All right, what's next again? I need to figure out the root of the problem. It usually has something to do with the troubles of the people, right? I'll just be forward then. Has anything been troubling you lately? Nothing more than usual, I suppose. I'm just here to commemorate the occasion. That wage hike takes a major load off, though it's really too bad that we're still under Gabriel's boot. You know, I bet they let the bill pass just to avoid a revolt. They don't give a shit about us. Gabriel, that's not this country, is it? Wasn't that the mother country? Correct? I think Brighton shouldn't be in... Um, a colony of theirs anymore. It was labeled as an appendage in the dossier. I need to know more. How might I ask properly? Hmm. Ah. What about the um, president? He seems to be working for us, right? He does, right? You know it doesn't matter. He's just a figurehead. He can't do anything without Cabrera's approval. Couldn't even raise a military to defend against Ferdia without them kicking up a fuss. Hell, it took six months before they let him train a single soldier. I'll give him some credit, though. They quit crying about it and have been funding us ever, rightly ever since. Probably realized that if Phaedra took us over, then they'd lose their workhors, workhorse. Um, Ferdia is a third country sharing a border with Brighton. Oh, that is a massive country. So that's Brighton, this is Gabria, and this is Ferdia. Jeez, yeah, that will easily be taken over. What was it that I read about them last night? Don't we have a truce with them or something? It has been around for a while. Yeah, but it's hardly there. Ferdia's never been too afraid to stir up a war or two over some real estate. Or some over some insult to their forefathers, whatever excuse. Our truce with them is just a piece of paper. If they wanted to, they'd take us down in a heartbeat. Or they would have at least, until we got an army to secure the border. Never know, though. Wow, this guy talks a lot. It's wonderful. I hardly have to say a word. Or at least, I would if he didn't seem to want me to respond now. I put on a bit of an angry expression for a second, but then reconsider. Maybe a sad expression would be better. What's my character, anyway? Am I being myself here? Wait, wait, no. None of that matters, just answer. That's terrible. Okay, I need another question. Maybe I should let some of my ignorance show. Why is it like this, anyway? You don't know? Well, I'm not surprised. They practically skipped over that in schools. Give it a paragraph, maybe. Sure, they tell you Brighton used to be a Gabrian colony, that we gained our independence 120 years ago. They just never mentioned the costs of that freedom. Economic sanctions, crazy ones. I mean, they weren't always crazy. Back then, minimum wage could feed you and more. The sanctions haven't changed, though. They haven't adjusted with the dollar's value and cost of living. We screwed up, got lulled into this false sense of liberty, got so caught up in things we could do, and we forgot what we can. Thanks to inflation, these sanctions are making us so poor that they're killing us. I mean, literally killing us. And a great thing to bring up when there's something to celebrate. But I don't even think they're tracking just how many have died trying to live. I know I've definitely lost count. Okay. Well, I'm going to end it here, guys, so uh, thanks for watching, and next time we'll continue with learning more about Bright Brighton. What was the third colony we haven't even talked about, or not colony, but like country? 
Rosare? Rosara? I don't know. Anyways, I'm just safe. Oh. Oh. Oops. Oh well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.